Happy Saturday. Bradenton Beach today on Anna Maria Island. It's Saturday, May 16th. And this beach is awesome. We are going to drive down from the interstate through St. Armand Circle and up through Longboat, which happens to be a much longer way to get there, but definitely the prettiest way to get there. Very, very nice and awesome. We'll see you at the beach. Okay, we're fine. We made it out here. And uh, this is a great place to park. Let me explain why. The little area right here that runs parallel to the beach, it's very easy to keep your stuff here. But you can keep it in your car. That's where we parked right here. And then you could walk right through the path down into the beach which is phenomenal. The water is so blue. It's going to be busy today. It's very early. It's probably uh, 9 o'clock, I think it is. 9, 10 on Saturday morning. This is the first weekend, I'm sorry, second weekend since the pandemic that they allowed no restrictions on the parking. Last week we were on Siesta Key. This week we're out here. The reports I got, which we're going to show you later on, Jewfish Key is where all the boats go and they gather. It was very busy last week. That's what I heard. We'll find that out today. And then uh, also, supposedly, this beach is pretty busy. It's not as big as Siesta Key, but it's absolutely just as pretty. Three different piers to go fishing. Awesome area out here. Um, and people love this area. We'll see you down on the beach. All right, Bradenton Beach. It is stunning. I just walked up and down the pier. The water's extremely clear. This is Anna Maria Island, and it has three different cities attached to it. The north end has Holmes Beach in the city of Anna Maria. The south end has Bradenton Beach, and it has little sub-beaches like Cortez Beach, Coquina Beach. It's just north of Beer Can Island, where a lot of people go and hang out, and you boaters, just uh, just north of Jewfish Key, where a lot of boats hang out and gather together and swim, and people jump in their water. It's basically their beach out in the middle of the bay, which is on actually actually on the bay side, right before the pass that comes in from the Gulf of Mexico, in between uh, Coquina Beach and Beer Can Island. It's just an awesome area. You got to be careful when you're out here. Not careful, but believe it or not, if you bring your snacks or potato chips or crackers, you will be bombarded with seagulls that come down and eat them right, right off of your uh, your head, your hands. They could even pinch you. It's happened to me a million different times. Really, really cool place to go out and just uh, check a look at the piers. As you can see, as we walk up this pier, and you can see it from up top as well. It's just beautiful. Gives you an opportunity as a fisherman to get to the very end and fish into deep waters up to 20 to 30 feet. Wildlife ends up swimming up to it where there's snook under the docks a lot of times, manatees, dolphins, and uh, you're a good 50 yards out in the middle of the gulf. And there's three different piers here on uh, Bradenton Beach. Some people have nicknamed this area the Three Piers. Very, very nice area. Here's our lifeguards. They got a brand new lifeguard tower put in. And uh, I did see the sheriff on golf carts up and down the pier, which is pretty neat. A little different, I'm not used to seeing that. I guess because of the pandemic, they are patrolling things. I did see somebody get in trouble for fishing out here. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. I guess you're not allowed to fish in areas where people can swim. The gentleman was very nice when they told him to put the, the rod away. And he said, I've been doing this for 30 years. And they said, yeah, it's been an ordinance that they're finally just starting to, to, uh, to uh, crack down on, I guess we'll say. But take a look at how clear the water is. Absolutely beautiful. Had an episode a little earlier where I was out in the water with my kids. And a dolphin came right up to us. It was 
I don't want to say right up to us, but probably 15, 20 feet away. And I did get some good footage from a cell phone. Let's see if I can put that in here or not, or how it turned out. I have not watched it yet. But I will tell you, if you're a fisherman, you come out here, fish off this pier. There's snook, all, uh, shark. I was out here one day when a gentleman caught a shark. I was actually live. You see dolphins, manatees, um, all kinds of different things all over the place. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love coming here. For some reason, the month of May is so clear, the water. It's absolutely amazing. And we did just get done with a situation where people were not allowed on the beach for about seven weeks. I don't know if that helped out. I'm sure it did. But I will tell you, in the past, I have seen the month of May be a home run time for clear water and just enjoy this area. So absolutely insane how beautiful. Good place to boat, fish, and all kinds of different things. Yeah. You like coming out here to fish? Oh, it's awesome out here. Not what today is, though, it's, there's no fish. <laughs> it hasn't been good fishing? No, not today. What's, uh, what's your favorite thing to catch? Uh, out here on the pier, Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel. Yeah. You like Bradenton Beach? Bradenton Beach is awesome, man. Is this one of Come your on. favorite? Anna Maria. Anna Maria all is, the way. is love insane, it. isn't it? I love it. It's beautiful. Nice. Oh, buddy. What a, that's awesome. Have a good day, man. Goodbye. I'm catching real fish. You're catching real fish? Big fish? I'm big one. How big? I'm larger. <laughs> oh, I can see them all swimming. Have fun. Anyway, Lenny Besterman, like and subscribe if you have not already. I will be bringing you all kinds of different secrets of the Sarasota. Not secrets, but different awesome things of the Sarasota Bradenton area in a vlog style format. I'll put my two cents in and I also will enjoy hearing what you have to say with your personal experience in the area that we're talking about. You're more than welcome to do that. I'm just sharing my 15 years of what I have learned just hanging out and paying attention. So let's see what you have to say. Put your thoughts in the comments. Share the post out to anybody that you want to show this beautiful area to. Just hit the share link, copy it, and text message it to your friends, email it, or even post it on, post it on your social media. Lenny Besterman and family, Sarasota Experience. Have a great day.